At Keysource, we believe it's important to have a future-proof data centre strategy to underpin current and future technology, um, the IT applications uh, and the business critical systems that they, um, they support. What we think is that um, there's no one size fits all and applications often reside either in the public cloud, on premise in their own end user organisations facility or even in a managed service or co-location data centre. There's a number of reasons for that, whether it be cost, whether it be speed of application, availability or even data sovereignty. Um, but what we, what we think is that customers need to think about that, it's an important investment and it's not an insignificant investment, yet the technology changes quite rapidly, so the cost of getting it wrong and the impact of the business could be quite significant if you go down the wrong route. Our approach is very consultative, we work with organisations to understand their business and technology needs and partner with a tender who focus much more on the application um, and the technology stack um, helping organisations determine which approach is, is um, the best for them dependent upon their application needs. The important thing we focus on is underpinning that with the right level of resilience, uh, performance and capacity of data centre infrastructure to meet the needs of those applications. So at a tender we work with FTSE 350 sized organisations to look after some of their most critical applications and the infrastructure that supports them. Those applications can be revenue critical, brand critical, or in some cases mission critical. The business can fail if those applications do not transact or do not allow the customers to transact. And in the conversation with clients, it's a very consultative engagement, but we tend not to talk about data centre strategy per se. We talk much more about choice and flexibility. So for some applications, uh, it may well be the most suitable thing that they sit in a computer room built by someone like Keysource right next to the factory line itself, because that's where the software is housed that drives the factory lines. For others, it could be co-location. For others, a managed services suite in a co-location environment. Or for others, up on the public cloud. So this world we call hybrid computing. And it's the application, though, that drives the choice of location. The challenge is, what is a good decision today may turn out to be a poor one tomorrow. So the ability to flex location over time is critical in the engagement we have with our clients. But what is important, and what is always important, is the fact that we do two things. One is make the best decision for the application. And two is wherever that infrastructure is housed, it is in a world-class facility. So it could be, as I say, in a world-class computer room built on site, in a world-class co-location facility, or up on a world-class public cloud. So we understand and recognise that applications sit in very different locations and they actually may change uh, from one year to the next. So our job is to consider the way in which we design and build modern data centres um, to ensure that we match the inf infrastructure supporting the IT application in a similar way. And that leads us on to scalable and modular solutions, which there are a range of, um, I suppose, within the data centre marketplace. Um, our approach is very much to focus on how we can ensure we provide a flexible, um, easy environment to deploy modern IT, equi um, IT equipment so that the applications running on whether it be a high performance computing system, a high density blade deployment or more legacy equipment are um, managed and meet the performance criteria that the applications demand. So what we, what we try to do and what we understand is that what we do today might not be fit for purpose in the future. So this scalable deployment ensures that we can reduce the capital investment up front, but at the same time meet the performance requirements of today's IT equipment. Um, and we can do that whether it be in an uh, existing data centre where we're looking to upgrade or whether it be to build out a brand new data centre. So that could be an end user facility on premise or a professionally operated co-location facility. But what our customers need is a consistent approach to ensure the performance is the same across all environments. Um, there's a range and a, a large amount of legacy facilities, so it isn't always the case to say it's good to outsource. Sometimes there's genuine opportunities to upgrade existing. Um, and what we ensure is that our solutions, um, which are modular, uh, deliver the highest levels of performance, whether it be efficiency and flexibility of IT, but in a simple way. Um, our job doesn't end when we've handed over the keys, if you like, but it's very much about ensuring we can continue to optimise um, and ensure that the facility runs in the most high performance uh, way across all elements of the infrastructure through the life cycle of the data centre. 
So as we described earlier, a tender really works with companies to understand the value that business applications derive for those organisations. In doing so, it's important to understand where that infrastructure and the application should be located, be it in an in-house data centre or a co-located environment such as Dayton. A key source of the business we have worked with to both help our clients build in-house data centres and in the creation of the Datum data centre, which we believe to be an absolute world-class facility. In summary, data centres need to be an enabler to IT and not put constraints on what you can put where and when. So we partner with a tender because they understand the IT application and what customers actually really need from their IT technology. Um, and that partnership, I think, is fundamental to ensuring you can deliver value to customers over a longer period of time. However, wherever that equipment is located, it's important that CIOs and business leaders who require um, that uh, infrastructure to support critical applications have the right information available to them to make more informed and better decisions. So we're really big advocates and, and uh, work with customers to deploy tools such as data centre infrastructure management software specific to ensuring that we can join up the relationship between IT applications and the physical data centre, enabling CIOs to plan, implement and manage their data centre strategy over a much longer period of time, hopefully ensuring that they're able to save money, save time and ultimately deliver a better service to their business and to their customers.